welcome to today's episode of Global Policy. I'm your host, Judefson. If you've been following the news, you may have heard about Roe v. Wade. Well, here is everything you need to know about it. What is Roe v. Wade? Roe v. Wade is the name of the lawsuit that led to the landmark U.S. Supreme Court decision on January 22, 1973. This lawsuit established a constitutional right to abortion in the United States. The majority opinion of the court found an absolute right to abortion during the first trimester of pregnancy. Who was Roe? Jane Roe was a pseudonym for a woman named Norma McCorvey. In 1969, she was 22 years old, unmarried, unemployed, and pregnant when she sought to have an abortion in Texas. By the time the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in her favor in 1973, Roe had already given birth to a girl whom she placed for adoption. Who was Wade? Henry Wade was the district attorney for Dallas County, Texas. It was his job to enforce a state law prohibiting abortion except to save a woman's life. So he was the person Roe sued when she sought the abortion. What did the court decide in 1973? Roe alleged that the Texas law was unconstitutional, vague, and violated her constitutionally protected right to privacy. So, the question before the US Supreme Court was, does the constitution recognize a woman's right to terminate her pregnancy by abortion? Justice Harry A. Blackman delivered the opinion for the 7-2 majority, saying, a set of Texas statutes criminalizing abortion in most instances violated a woman's constitutional right of privacy. However, the Supreme Court disagreed with Roe's assertion of an absolute right to terminate pregnancy in any way and at any time and attempted to balance a woman's right of privacy with the state's interest in regulating abortion. In summary, the court said a woman's decision to have an abortion during the first three months of her pregnancy must be left to her and her doctor. <laughs>